With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question here is that which of the following structures help in the excretion and the respiration in case of the molluscare? Nephridia, feather-like gills, the flame cell or the tentacles here. Now if we talk about the phylum mollusca here, so it is the second largest phylum after the first largest which is the phylum arthropoda here which includes the insects. Now in case of the mollusk, we have the example of the snails, right? And the body of the mollusk, it is quite soft here. It is not divided into any segments and it also has the presence of the calcareous shell for its protection. Now for the excretion and the respiration they have the presence of the flame cell as we can see in the structure here the flame cell it is present along with the nucleus here and they are the one which helps in the removal of the waste as well as in the respiration in case of the mollusk here because they do not have the well developed organ system present in their body here the nephridia so nephridia it is the characteristic feature in the case of the annelids here phylum annelida like we'll talk about the earthworm here so it helps in the excretion there the tentacles they are seen in the uh, you know, this nidarians here like jellyfish right they are seen in the jellyfishes they are for the locomotion here and the feather like gills so gills they are usually seen in the aquatic animals for the respiration purpose but not in the case of the mollusk here. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.